Morning, welcome to another episode of Dan Builds. I think this should be at episode three. Um, last episode we put the headers on the engine. Um, today I'm actually gonna take them back off again so I can get access to the wiring underneath them for the front of the car. I'm gonna take that off of the chassis and I'm gonna thread it inside of the heat protective um, coating that I've got. Um, we might end up making some more homemade Jubilee clips, so a stainless ribbon that I've got. Um, excuse me. I'll show you that at the time. And then possibly we will cut the fuel hose to length. So that's the final cut done on that. Um, yeah, so that's, let's see how we get on. Okay, so you would have just seen on the time lapse me um, doing a bit of a weird dance with um, my leg out in the air because I tried some fishing line. Um, I poked some fishing line down the inside of this um, heat protective um, shielding and then tied it onto the end of the cabling and then had to keep it tight with, with my leg while I slid this down over the side of it. Then I measured a distance where this, um, I tucked this one in so I had the plastic coating and measured distance, made a cut, that go back on. Um, yeah, but the coating comes all flat even though it's actually um, a circle. So I actually used this metal grabbing tool and poked it down the end, you've seen that, and opened up as far as I could reach it, which made it easier to poke the fishing line down through. Um, so yeah, when I, I'll attach this onto this um, chassis bar at some point with, um, well, I'm not sure what I'll use yet, but I'll do something that's neat. Uh, next step now is I'll have a go at these um, battery cables and then I'll work away over the other side of the engine. Right, let's keep going. Right, just threaded the second piece, which is the both power cables, um, battery cables, sorry. Uh, I put a single piece on the positive cable, which is a little bit higher, the negative comes from lower down. Um, my homemade Jubilee clips, um, cable retainer straps that I've made out of some stainless. They're holding it in place. I actually trimmed off the, um, the cable um, insulation halfway through the job. And annoyingly, I've snipped <laughs> my, um, well, my control for the solenoid. I've snipped this much of it off. But because of the way I've rooted it, I can actually I can make it work. I do think now I'm going to probably trim my battery cable because I only need it to be there before I wasn't sure of the positions so I gave it excess. But I think I'm going to trim it um, probably about four inches, trim four inches off, have it there, then I'll wrap the this around it neatly. So yeah, I think I'll do that, but I think I'll do that later. What I'll do is I'll continue routing um, the power cables and the electrics through the uh, heat protection. So I'll start on the other side of the engine now. Right, on the right hand side of the engine so far, I've just disconnected both the battery cables of the star solenoid, threaded the heat protection on the battery cables, and then reconnected them. So that's them done. I now need to protect this piece of cabling, which is goes all the way forward to these waterproof clips here, watertight clips, um, which do the spotlights, headlights, indicators. Um, they're obviously on there firmly, so they're not going to come off, so I can't slide a piece down over this. So... What I will do is I think because I only need to protect here 
to down there where the headers will pass over and there'll be most heat. Um, so I'll probably split the piece of heat protective um, tube that I have down the stitching and then wrap it round and then secure it with some steel straps. I'll make my own um, stainless steel straps, some kind of Jubilee style clip. Um, uh, but and then also this this is an offshoot which comes halfway out which goes around the front of the engine and goes to the alternator and the water temperature sensor so I will cover this as well um, there's no plastic protection on this one so I should just be able to thread it down inside um, this tube using the same fishing line um, sort of method I'll be doing so far so I'll get on with that now right so having just wrapped the wiring loom with um, the heat protection on the right hand side of the engine bay I couldn't really find a decent way to hold it onto the chassis, so I've just just made a sort of Jubilee clip style cable wrap that I'll put a little bolt underneath and it'll hold it onto the chassis. I've got a reel of this sort of stainless belt that I bought a while ago, it's only thin, and I just use rubber that I've taken off of um, other clips. So yeah, just mocked it up and um, should fit fine. So I think I'll make another, I don't know, four or five of these ones, then put them on and see how the thing looks. Um, yeah, having to having had to unpick the stitching meant that it's very hard to keep the actual heat protecting in the place I want it. Obviously, I don't want to use plastic cable ties. The whole point of it is going to get really hot. So yeah, I'll keep mocking on with these ones now. just finished making five of my kind of custom p-clip style um, cable holders which I'll put onto the car now and see how it holds the, um, the heat wrap and see if they actually work as planned cool right let's do that um, right now I'm done um, fitting the p-clips and then you can see that's the heat protection over cabling you got the battery cables to the right hand side the main cabling runs forward of the chassis there and you've got the piece at the front which goes over the top and then goes up to the alternator and to the water sensor, which you can see in there. And I've put another piece on the four cables that run up, which will go to the brake reservoir, the float switch, and to the um, brake master cylinder um, sensor here. So now um, I've just taken off uh, the AN fitting, which this AN fitting off of the fuel, and I'm going to shorten it to approximately where that black mark is now to get a better run on the fuel cable. As it stands, it's there's too much um, of a bend in it, so I shall do that next. Right, so that's pretty much the end for today. So that's the fuel pipe now shortened, you see here, and fastened up. Um, I've, I've nipped up all the other bits of the fuel fixings. Um, what we will do is we'll let this one go, it's only finger tight at the moment. So when we put the fuel pressure through and run it to clear all the lines out, um, I'll put this pipe into a bucket or into some way that I can get um, where I can control where the fuel's going. Um, I'm just thinking I'll put the headers back on probably tomorrow with the gaskets and that'll be them on properly. Um, and I've actually got to make up some um, HD leads, plug leads. So I totally forgot about that. So that'll be quite fun. I'll have to work out how I'm going to route them, what order. Um, I've got the, the kit ready to go. So yeah, I think I'm going to call that quits for today. So um, yeah, next video.